Hi and welcome to my wee channel, The Wandering Kilt. Today's video is a trip to the Scottish borders. Kelso, a lovely market town on the banks of the River Tweed that dates back to the construction of the Abbey in 1128. The Abbey more or less ran the area up until the Reformation in the 16th century when Scotland rejected the papacy, developing a Calvinist national church, the Church of Scotland. This led to the dissolution of the monasteries and abbeys and the power of the church was broken. Kelso suffered with raiding parties during Henry VIII's rough wooing, as it was called, which led in part to the condition that you see the abbey in today. The Kelso parish used to levy a tax of tuppens on every pint of beer, porter and ale sold within the town, and in 1802 under the Kelso Two Penny Scots Act, the act was extended by 21 years to pay for a replacement bridge over the Tweed. I'm sure that was popular, a bit like the minimum price on alcohol nowadays. An iconic building apart from the Abbey is the Town Hall, which was completed in 1816 and later given a bit of a facelift in 1908. Town Square is massive compared to other towns and looks of kind of Italian in style. Well, it does to me anyway. Sir Walter Scott said of the town, it is the most beautiful, if not the most romantic, village in Scotland. And I'm sure he would know. The town is no stranger to controversy. Rennie's Brig being the source of such ill feeling that turned nasty and became a full-scale riot in 1854. The locals became angry that tolls were still being collected even after the bridge had been fully paid for. The tolls were later abolished three years later. Talking of things being abolished, Thomas Pringle was part of the Anti-Slavery Society in 1827, working tirelessly to have slavery banned. And talking about civil rights, Georgiana Solomon, born in 1844, went to jail fighting for women's suffrage. Donald Farmer, who won a Victoria Cross during the Boer War in 1900, was born in Kelso, and his medal is on display at Fort George, Inverness Shire, the regimental museum of the Queen's own Highlanders. The Abbey is the main building in Kelso, though. In 1460, King James III was crowned in Kelso Abbey, and it's a building that is a spectacular example of Romanesque architecture. Looking at it, I could just imagine this ruin in Italy. Well, the weather was a bit of hit or miss today, so no blue skies, but hey, it wasn't raining for the first time in a month, so I'll take that. Anyway, let's just go on with it.
Well, that was Kelso. I was just glad to get out filming again, and it's a it's a great enough place to start. I've done Selkirk as well, so look out for that one later on. Once again, thanks for watching, and as I look at the big clock on the wall, I see that I haven't changed the time yet. Spring forward, isn't it? Time for me to go, so bye for now.